Hi guys, this is Naresh. Welcome back to my channel, Technical Talks with Naresh. So today I am going to prepare a video on event trigger in BIP. So basically, in my last video, I had just explained you a few features in an BIP. Okay. So in this video, I am just going to explain you event trigger. Okay. So for that, what we will do? We will just create one report where we will use the event trigger. Okay. So I am just going to Oracle Fusion screen first. So this is my home screen of Oracle Fit Instance. I'm just clicking here the navigator and I will just go to tools. So this is my tools. I'm just expanding this. I'm just clicking on report and analysis. So I will just come on this page and here I will just click on the browse catalog button. Okay, so it will open the catalog page in front of me. Now I will just go to here that is an create and here is a data model. So I will just click on this respective data model. So I will come on this data model screen. So before going forward, I just have to tell you that if you are new on my channel and you want to learn the Oracle Fusion, so go to my Fusion playlist on my channel that will help you to learn the Oracle Fusion. If you are having any question, any doubt, you can just write into the comment section of any of my video or you can email me on my email ID, which is in the description section. So continue to the topic. So we have to create the event trigger for that first of all we have to create the data model in one report okay so i'm just creating first of all the data model so here is an a plus icon i'm just taking it's an sql query and here i'm just writing the name as an event trigger dm okay so dm is for the data model and i'm just selecting the source as an a application db fscm and here I am just writing the query. So what we query we need here? I have one query. I will just paste it here. Okay. So this is my respective query. So I will just write all that step which we are going to perform here on one notepad. So what we are just doing here? Create the data model. So we will use this respective query to create the data model. So what we are just doing into this query. So I will just explain you in short. I am just selecting few columns from this respective two tables that is a header table and line table so this respective header table is having the header related data and line table is having the line related data and we are just fetching few columns from both the header and the line table and here is the join condition between both the table i'm just copying the same query and i'm just pasting it here okay i'm just clicking on the okay button so it will create the data model so what I will do in start only, I will save this respective data model. So in my folders, we had created one folder previously, that is BIP report. Here I will just give the report name or data model name as event trigger dm. I'm just copying the same into the description section and I'm just clicking on the OK button. So now the data model is saved. One more thing I will just going to do here. I'm just going to this diagram. So I'm just editing this data model and I'm just writing here one more condition that is an and row num which is less than 10. Okay. I'm just copying this condition, clicking on OK here, going to notepad, and I'm just writing it here as well. Okay. Now second point is create a report. Create a report. Okay, now I'm just going to the data model, then I can view, save as sample data, then save this report and click on create report. So it will just come on this respective page. I'm just cancelling this one and I'm just uploading my data model here. So the event trigger DM and I will just click on this generate. Here I will just write event trigger template for template i'm just writing T E M P. click on generate now i will just save this first with name event underscore trigger underscore report i'm just copying the same name and pasting it to the description clicking on ok so it will get saved so i'm just clicking on view report so you can see I'm just getting this respective all the data. So I'm just getting the nine rows because 
I have to tell you the concept of event trigger so that's why we don't need all that respect to data so uh, what I will do now I will just schedule this report so how I can schedule I just click here and here is an option schedule okay so there is one more way you can schedule it so you can go by this way or you can go to the catalog back and uh, this is our report so here more and schedule now I have to schedule this report so I will just go to this output I have to take this as an email so for that I can just add this respect to destination detail here I can just give my respect to email ID if I want that respect to output by email okay I'm just giving my email ID as tech21 at gmail.com here I will just give the subject as event trigger report okay then I will just go to schedule and it is run now notification and diagnostic we are good on this one so I just click on submit so here again I am just giving event trigger report ETR and click on ok once you click on ok it will submit the report so click on just ok click on return click here more in the history okay so you can see this ETR our job name that is a success okay so this is success but now till now we had not done the use of event trigger so now we will use the event trigger so for what purpose we will use so now if the output is a null means there is a no value in the output that time what it should do it should not send any report or it should not schedule this respective program so how to do that so I'm just going to the catalog again I'm just editing our data model that is an event trigger DM just click on edit here go to the data model query I'm just writing one more and condition so let me go here and write here so I'm just writing and order number equals to suppose 2012 like this something why I'm just adding so it have to give some blank output so this order number should not be there in your case that condition can be anything okay so based upon the client requirement if there is an null output it should not submit that report or it should not run that respective report so what i am just doing i am just copying this respective single condition i am just going here and i am just pasting that condition click on ok let's check that once that it is having some data or not click on view table view we don't have the data now i am just creating the event trigger in the real time scenario you don't have to change the data model query that I had changed because in my condition there is a data okay so in real time you don't have to change the data model condition you just have to go to this event trigger click on this respective plus icon so the event trigger will get created here right here is the name so I'm just giving you then a blank data so the data is blank that time and we I have to just select here the schedule so why schedule because on the schedule it have to do some action so here we have to select the SQL query or it will come as an SQL query and we have to write the SQL query here before that we have to change the data source as well so the same query which we had written over here we have to just take it up one small change we have to do so instead of all this respective column I have to just write one one means nothing but the true if this respect to query is returning any output so any output means if it is returning one then the next process will start uh, that way we have to just do this so I'm just writing this one I'm just going here I'm just saving the data model okay and I will just click on view again save as sample data okay save the data model one more time click on catalog just go to the report click on edit click on view report so you can see the columns populated but there is a no data now I have to schedule this one so click on this setting icon and schedule now come to here again 
your email at destination I'm just adding my email ID and here I'm just adding subject as event trigger task. Okay, so this is done now in schedule tab. So here is an option that is in use trigger. Let's check this checkbox and uh, just give here the trigger name. So blank data. If you have multiple, we will have that all here. So we don't have multiple, so I'm just selecting one. There is no parameter for this report. So that's why notification and diagnostic we don't have to do any changes i'm just submitting it as a event trigger report one okay so i'm just clicking on ok button it's done click on ok click on return okay it will come here after return click on the catalog here click on more and the history see that so what is the r this report this is an etr1 so this the status is now it is skipped why I skipped because there is an a no data in that particular report that's why they had skipped that respective report so see it is, won't have any type of an output okay if we go for our previous report that is etr so it will have some output so you can see the output as well send to this respective email id from this respective id and other details are there so this is for the event trigger there are other features as well in the event trigger so that also you can just do so you can just try to explore that one or i will just make a fresh video on that one in this video that's it for the day so if you have any questions and doubts you can just write into the comment section of my any of the video please like share subscribe my channel Thank you for watching. Thank you.